Hey guys, I'm Walt, amateur radio call sign K4OGO. I'm a ham radio operator, and um, about seven months ago, I posted a uh, a video where I was out playing radio and working, you know, operating my radio portable down by the uh, the, the harbor where I live at in Portsmouth, Virginia, and uh, and I was harassed by an HOA. She said she was the HOA president. Um, uh, she's come to be known as the as HOA Karen here uh, of people that subscribe to my channel. It was seven months ago, and it did average with my videos, you know, a couple thousand views over time. In the last seven or eight days, for some reason, that thing has hit the algorithm or has gained popularity, and I've gotten about 18,000 views in the last uh, oh, seven or eight days. With as many comments, a ton of comments, and it's just really hard for me to keep up with all the comments. So I, I thought, you know what, a lot has happened since then, and a lot of things are uh, going on. I've learned a lot or what have you, so I figured uh, it would probably be easier if I just did a follow-up update video of, of, of HOA Karen. I'll put the, if you haven't seen the original video, I'll put a link to it uh, down in the description. You can go see it. But uh, I got a clip or two from it I'll, I'll add to this video as well. And like I said, what happened was I was down uh, operating in a place where I operate all the time. And, and I was approached and uh, basically it was being asked to leave. And I had basically said that that was, it was their property um, I needed to go. As a matter of fact, she said, this is my dirt. I pay for it, not your dirt. This side of the sidewalk is a city easement. If you go check the law, I've already well, checked on it. Taxes. So do I. I live on, I live on, 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 on North Street. We personally pay taxes. On I personally this piece do for the city of Portsmouth. This not is easy. We pay taxes on this piece of dirt. We do. Well, funny she should say that that's her dirt because uh, I went down to City Hall and uh, and uh, like within, within a day or so and, and got the, uh, the the zoning map and, and the property lines and. Um, here you go. Um, that was not her dirt. As a matter of fact, in the original video, I incorrectly called it an easement. That's where I was wrong. It wasn't an easement. It's public property. As I knew it was, because I see people out there all the time fishing, uh, launching kayaks, and, and getting out right there in that little area of our harbor there. It's kind of shallow there, and going in and out. So, in fact... My area where I always operate is well above the, uh, on the other side of that sidewalk. If you saw her there telling me it was her dirt, the sidewalk was behind her. She wasn't on her property or the HOA property where she was from. She was actually standing on city public property where people fish, do a lot all day, every day. I, and I see them out there all the time. And so it was kind of common sense when I'd go out there and operate. What's really funny is you go out there and watch these guys fishing when they got boombox going on with the like blasting music. It's funny. They don't ever go out and bother them. I guess I just looked like an easy target or something. I don't know, but uh, it was, uh, that's, that's the situation there. So to answer some of the questions there is, um, if, uh, you know, was I on an easement? No, I was wrong. It wasn't an easement. That was pure public property, as I just showed in the uh, the graphic there. And uh, I was well within my right to operate uh, operate ham radio or do whatever I want there. Who knows? Maybe next, maybe I'll start fishing there and bring my boom box out. I don't know. I, I really, you know, in the original video, you see, I, I didn't want problems. I didn't want trouble. And I, and I ask everybody, you know, what would you do in this situation? And, and I got a lot of comments. Some of them were really great comments you know I, I don't think people realize though that you know in the heat of the moment when something comes up on you that quick and you're not expecting it who knows how anyone would react and it's so easy to sit behind a, a keyboard and say i would have done this i would have done that yeah you know hindsight's 2020 i would have probably done things different too although i thought i handled it okay and, and handled it pretty well um, but i learned a lot i learned a lot from asking you guys i got some great feedback and i'm ready for the next time this thing happens i also learned another thing and it's just something I really knew, but there's always those guys out there in social media that, you know, I, I got some people that were just calling me names. A lot of them I just deleted right away. And people calling me a lid. I mean, in the ham radio world, if you don't know what a lid is, that's it's a derogatory um, remark or whatever. You know, I, I got blasted by some people. 
I even posted this thing on a, I shared it. I shared it on a Facebook site called Ham Radio, on a, fa a group called Ham Radio on Facebook. And it was approved by, I guess, one of the administrators right away. And it went up for just a, an hour or two. And then, boom, I got a message that it had been removed. And so I, I asked, I said, um, you know, why is this thing being removed? And I, I said, did you even watch the video? And uh, true to form, no, I didn't even have to watch. And that's a problem with a lot of things in social media. People are quick to jump and, and pass judgment and, and comment and make a statement before actually even reading about it or whatever. But so many other, so many other things, you know, one of the questions uh, that was asked is like, why didn't you show her face? You know, I had that, uh, I had that, uh, that emoji or whatever over her face and covered her up you know at the time i you know I, I thought that might that might have been part of her property and i wasn't on public property i was just on an easement like i said i was wrong about that but now that i'm you know i know it's public property and i've looked up the legalities of it yeah i could show anybody in a video so for all you people that wanted to uh see what a, the, the hoa woman looks like here you go in, in her glory so um god bless her you know and i don't wish anything bad on her and i and if you saw the video she was just responding to uh there was someone in her HOA that was sending her emails and complaining, and then she had to come down and you know kind of give me give it to me to get out of there. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that's kind of crazy. But uh, another comment that uh, I got quite frequently was, um, "You should have you should have told her to call the police." Well, you know, I did. You can call the police. You can get them here. Okay, because I'm not moving. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not I'm not moving. Cause... Cause... So there you go. Um, you know, th like I said, there was some excellent comments on there. A lot of great support. You know, there's a lot of people out there that really gave me some uh, encouraging uh, things and some encouraging words. And thank you all for that. I really do appreciate it. Typically, I like to put out some pretty positive videos. Uh, you know, I kind of thought this one was uh, gone. It's seven months ago when I posted it. But um, I enjoy operating portable with ham radio ham radio is my my love i like to build different antennas and go down by the water because you know we all know the enhancement it does for signals and what have you there so if you want to see some really uh fun videos uh subscribe to my channel i got some other stuff there um i will tell you this i'm not going down to that area anymore i i, I mean i could i just don't want the headache i if you've been following me over the last few months and you see me down in the harbor operating portable i'm down at the other end uh it's a, a good block, block and a half down the other end of the uh, seawall from her. And I like that area too. And as a matter of fact, that, that area is probably even better. Although I do miss that little sandy uh, corner that I would stick stuff in, uh, my antennas and whatever. But um, much better, less headache. And um, I'm still enjoying operating my portable ham radio right there, a, a block away from where I live. I live right there in the neighborhood. So um, so that's pretty much it. Anyway, just wanted to put this video out there because I've tried to reply to everybody on my videos. It's kind of hard sometimes, but I do. I you know I like to respond because I love the uh, I love the community of ham radio and social media. I really do, and I like I've made some great friends and come to know some really good people. I've learned a lot from uh, from social media in the ham radio world. So I like to respond to this one just got away from me i like you know what it'll be easier to just uh post an update and and have it out there anyway thanks for watching i'm sorry if i rambled on a little bit there but uh, until next time i'm walt k4 ogo everyone have a great day be good to people that's what it's all about god bless you 73